wherever you are in the world, hello. We are Grangemouth dropping off two tanks like them in front of me to get cleaned. And I've not been in here before and it's my first time on a flat nearly. I've moved one but I've never done any work with it so I've got a flat there now with twist locks. Um, so it'll be good to get off the curtains. Hopefully I can keep this today and they give me another job with it but we'll see what happens. But I'm here now in Grangemouth and they're moving stuff there now. Apparently the boy will come up and speak to me and we'll take it for there. But at the moment, this is where we are. Um, as I say, it's my first time on a flat, working on a flat, so... We'll see how it goes. Well, it's another good morning after watching that one with me in the flat. I never kept the flat long. Took the flat down to Dalbeatty, dropped it. Plan was to go to Carlisle with a trail, uh, cutting cider. Tip that, go back to uh, Dalbeatty, pick up my flat, and then go to Huntington. It then got changed. I got to Carlisle, tipped, and then reloaded to Carlisle, which I am now, for um, Southampton. Now, the time I got there was about four o'clock. Currently, I'm in Lim services. It's now, it's now 5.15 in the morning, I believe right now I'll be at Southampton for 9.30. Plus our break rates here, 10, let's just say half 10. Um, but I'm not leaving right now, I'll leave shortly. I'll try to get my 11, I'm not long to go. I've been on rest now for... 10 hours and 28, so we're going to leave when it hits about 1 minute past 11. That's 11 hours rest. It's going to be a bugger here, day. But hey, that's what it's all about. Sorry for the picture, I don't know what's going on. Um, but we'll see what happens. Uh, and we'll get, we'll, we'll, we'll get there, we'll get this tipped and then work it where our reload is, which will probably be London. Um, but ah, it's Tuesdays now. So, uh that went well. Try to do a nice video for yesterday. But we'll see what happens today. Um, and I'll keep you posted. We are at BSW. BSW. That Southampton, which is actually shut down. Most folk have been made redundant, and it's the quietest BSW yard I've ever been in my fucking life. There's nothing about here, so there's like five people at work here now. Everywhere else has been made redundant, so. I think I've got a choice of base. Matter, does it? I don't know. That's what we'll do. We'll just burly around here and reverse it to that one fucking bay. Southampton. I've got my next load, which is London. I knew it would be London anyway, it's fine. I just hate London. The sweat is pouring off me here and it's roasting. Plus taking the straps off, isn't it? Helping? And that bloody hard hat I got. This thing, bump cap, the sweat, it makes you sweat like buggery, man. He's all flowing me now, as you can hear. It's 12.22. If I leave now, I'll be at London at 9 minutes past 2. I don't know how much time left after I get loaded, that's for sure. But hey, it's one of them. So, 
at least this one's done. And this other one, this one for London's gone up to Mullerwell, as I said, so it's gone in Liddles or Aldi. Other two. It's just bags. It's just crap. Disposable bin bags, as far as I'm led to believe. Junction 3A for Birmingham, so we're now, 
I'm obviously trying to head to every six toll. Um, so I, this, this fuzziness with the camera, I apologise. Um, it is just the dash underneath it. It's the, the, the light of the, the radio. I was only one lane. But aye, next chapter. We are at Liddles, Motherwell. Got here at 10. I got here at 10.47. It was due at 10. They're all right, they're, it is what it is, but I'm the last one to get tipped, apparently. They're not in a rush to let me on the bay. At least it's dead at this time. So, by the time I get tipped, I have two hours left to drive, and I can't see me going anywhere today. You see me parked up at Cumbernauld, and uh, I early tea in uh, Colombo, I think. But I'm waiting for a phone call, and then they'll tell me to go on the bay. So, oh, it's one of them, I suppose. One of them. Good morning. I managed to fix that haziness on the camera, which I worked to. It was a screen body protector, which I didn't need because I've got a big thing right around it. So. Hi, morning. Um, it is 12.50, so you can kind of see it's morning, nearly morning, but it is morning. 12.50, Friday the 18th. Uh, and we are, with the kettle on, as you can hear, and we're in Cambridge Services. What can I say? I don't know where I was last, but... We were heading down to Huntingdon. Huntingdon. We went there, we went to RAF. Can't remember that now, but anyway, it's an RAF, just at St. Buddy. It's an RAF place there. And uh, we'd play shares the, shares the old RAF base. They're knocking the rest of the RAF place down. So we tipped there and then got a reload, um, which was about an hour and 10 minutes away at uh, another haulage company. We had a bit of a nightmare there because nobody knew anything about this. This is basically a, a, another haulage company was coming into that haulage company. They were offloading it and then it was going on to me. It's just rubbish and crap that's gone back to get redone and get resold. So nobody knew anything about it and I walked about for ages and, and phoning people and obviously they're just emailing folk well I'll get a number we'll find out we'll, we'll see if it gets back to me and it was there for nearly freaking two hours now at that time when I left Huntington or Huntington I only had three hours and something to freaking go driving wise um, and we walked with gravel in there and all the rest of it and freaking driving about the yard like a twat when I did get the stuff on I came out of there by an hour and 50 minutes left to go. And then I had an hour. Oh, I had 50 minutes left to go. By the time I fought through the traffic to get to here. Um, so I parked up at 3 or whatever it was, I can't remember. Anyway, I've, I've parked up, I've had my living off. I could crack and go back to my bed and get up at super o'clock and get up there for lunchtime or one or whatever. I can't be bollocks. Mentally, I, I want to get up the road now. So we're going to leave the now. We're going to get up there um, at seven. This is what I'm saying. It, it's twelve fifty-three right now, right? It's maybe one o'clock in the morning. Yeah, nearly is. I'll be up the bloody road at seven twenty-eight. We'll say half seven, and I'll get it tipped. Hopefully at that time and get off. And then I'll have. I'll not have my. I'll not have. I'll not have three years or something left to go for the day. 
Uh, I'm on slim fast, not because I need to, because it actually fills you up for your breakfast. Um, I tried these breakfast drinks, the Weetabix and all the rest of it. And you're just starving. The slim fast actually, just for take, just for having this as a breakfast, you're not taking this to replace a meal really, unless I don't eat breakfast normally anyway, and then I'm hungry. Um, dinner time, like overly hungry. So I started drinking these for breakfast. I was doing the Weetabix ones and that, but they're just shite. So I started these. I mean, there's 204 calories in this apparently. It's full of this, that, and everything. It actually fills you up. It'll tide me over for lunch. And when I say lunch, I'll probably be having lunch at about 4 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> so, I don't know where. We'll come back with that as well, because we might be having lunch somewhere. Um... We're gonna go up, uh, up and over the 66. Um, and then up to Echo Fake and I'll grab Diesel and then up to Euro Central and get rid of this. And then phone in and advise that I'm free, I'm clear, but with three years left to go. So. I won't be heading back down to Dalbiti or anything like that for a reload. I'll probably be Stirling, and uh, Stirling is that's a nightmare and all. If you go in there, you're not going to go in there with two hours left to drive. The time I get there, with the two hours left to go, you're not going to get out of there in time. My kettle's done. So, aye, it's one of them. Two seconds where I sort my kettle out. Um, this is a shitty, cheapy, wee, nasty kettle, this. That I got when I had the camper van. The Talbot. It's not the best. Um, but you know what? It actually does the job. I'm not going to even going to replace it. You see them in the truck stops and in the, the services and now. 35, 40 quid. For a fucking kettle. That plugs in to your cigarette layer. No, you're all right. I mean, I think this is what? £13 or something? It does the job. That's the coffee done anyway. I've got I've got the slim fast there, I've got a coffee made and I fucking opened that and took three Pro Plus and all. Uh, just I went to the garage to buy Pro Plus. I've got extra water here. So I um questions anyone obviously I'm not be on that much now and we'll get this started again. I keep saying that don't I? but we will now. Um, how am I liking the job? Loving it, absolutely love it. Living a dream, or loving a nightmare chasing a dream. Um, but aye, no, I love it. Um, I mean, the only downside to it is just um, most people don't realise um, that you're not the only one on the road. So there's sometimes people forget about traffic and all the rest of it. Um, and and yards, I mean, some folk think you turn up to a yard for a tip and you're tipped in fucking three minutes. You're not. <sighs> Don't get me wrong, some places you can go on and get a tip like that. But, majority, no. Right, we'll come back when we work out where we're going to be for lunch. At four o'clock in the morning. I'm not ready to go yet anyway. I'm still 23 minutes left before I can go because I had to have a living off. Uh, it's been a one of the weeks, as I say. Um, went in London, I went to Southampton on Monday and then it was into London and then back up and then back down to near London anyway to Huntingdon and then this place and then but hi it's been by the name uh but hi it's friday and i will be here in the night that's guaranteed so let's see Well 
get out, eh? It's not my steering wheel. Let us, let's get out of Cambridge Services. Still, it was busy when I come in actually, and it's, uh, it's rammed now. <laughs> they all are though, every single one is. Unless it's a Sunday, and you go anywhere on a Sunday, and you'll, it'll not be rammed. Sorry for the reflection on the window, I've just cleaned the window, I don't know. It's full of flies. There's none of your lot here, I'm the only one doing this bloody end. This this end of England I mean, I don't know I think. There was another guy doing when I tipped, but I think he's well away now. Just turn that noise off. I don't want that at this time of the morning. There's folk abandoned everywhere. As I say, a lot of truck stops are like this now. If you're not parked up by four o'clock, you're fucked. It was never explained to me that until I got in the game. Driving in at quarter past eight, quarter to nine at night, and that try to work out where you're going to park. <laughs> you're not getting, not getting parked anywhere, that's the problem. You need to get in before four o'clock, like. And if you're no, then you're risking biscuits. Fucking broken biscuits, that's for sure. Now, I'm you. 